Hey Psych2Goers and welcome back to another video. Before we start, once again, we want to give you a huge thanks for all of the love and support you've given us. Our mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. So, thanks again, let's begin. Did you know that you use your body language most of the time when you communicate? Your body language can convey different types of feelings and meanings. While culture and tradition can heavily affect the meanings of body language, here are 19 general facts about body language. Number one, crossed arms. Do you cross your arms when you're talking? Usually, this means that you are avoidant and defensive. It may show a sign of self-protection and a lack of openness during conversations. Number two, slouching. Are you sometimes overwhelmed or intimidated when in situations like a group meeting or interview? If you're in this type of situation and you lower or slouch your shoulders rather than sitting up straight, it could mean that you are afraid or even unmotivated. Number three, tilted body. When you talk to someone, do you notice that their body is facing in another direction instead of yours? If their bodies tend to tilt away from you, then there's a chance that they aren't interested in what you're talking about. Four, repetitive motions. Do you shake your leg, rub your hands, or twirl your hair again and again? These motions may mean that you feel nervous or impatient. Number five, direct eye contact. Do you directly look into someone's eyes when you talk to them? Initiating eye contact may mean that you're focused on and giving the person you're talking to your full attention. It shows that you're interested and attentive to the conversation. Six, smiling. When you smile, the muscles on your face contract. While smiles often show happiness and joy, a tense smile or a smile that isn't very expressive may convey grief or embarrassment. Seven, handshake. Did you know that the strength of a handshake has meaning as well? A firm handshake is a universal sign of strength and confidence, while a weak handshake may indicate unreliability or disrespect. Eight, imitation. Do you find yourself copying the gestures of the person you're talking to? This is actually an unconscious attempt to strengthen your bond with them since mirroring increases empathy. It may be why you see your friends sharing similar poses and attitudes. Nine, leaning forward. Do you slowly lean forward as you're talking to someone? This unconscious move indicates your interest in what the other person is talking about. 10, raised eyebrows only. If you raise your eyebrows with a solemn expression on your face, it may convey dissatisfaction or anger. 11. Raised eyebrows with combined signals. On the other hand, if you raise your eyebrows with a mix of nodding and smiling, it shows that you're friendly and attentive to the conversation. Number 12. Proximity. Have you ever noticed how close you stand to your friends versus how you stand with your boss? The level of proximity between you and the other person can tell a lot about your relationship with them. The closer the distance, the closer the relationship. 13. Flushed face. A red face can mean a number of things depending on the context. While it usually means shyness and embarrassment, a flushed face can also show hostility and anger. 14. Stiffness. Have you ever noticed when someone stands very stiffly with tense shoulders? Tension in the limbs and other body parts may mean that they're lying or hiding something they don't want anyone to find out. 15. Blinking. According to Psychology Compass, slow blinking is linked to lying. Since you use more energy when you're telling a lie, there's less energy given to your blinking muscles. Number 16, lip movement. Do you lick your lips when you see your crush? Smacking or licking your lips shows a desire and a message that you're interested in the person. This also exists in primates when they're sexually attracted to their mates. Number 17, Small touches. Do your friends give you a pat on the back when you're feeling sad? These small touches indicate empathy, care, and warmth. It lets people know that you understand and sympathize with them. 18, head motion. Do you nod your head when you like or agree with something and shake your head when you don't? While this may seem pretty common in most cultures, some variations do exist. Places like Bulgaria, 
and Greece actually have it the other way around. And 19, indirect eye contact. Does someone look away when you're talking to them? Avoiding proper eye contact may mean that they're not paying attention, they're distracted, or they're trying to leave the conversation. Have you noticed any of these body language gestures in yourself or in other people? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification icon for more content. All the references used are also added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.